I wonder who can write this one. This is a rather huge boy with a teapot on the back. I'd reckon it's the world's largest single teapot. We found that somewhere here um, between Mazanabad and Abbasabad. Um, somewhere in the middle of nowhere now. Uh, and it's got a teapot. Very important. Very, very important here. So, that's the Caspian Sea. Um, managed to get here from Tehran. Um, and we are below sea level now, so we're minus 14 below sea level. Right at the Caspian Sea, with a lovely view and a lovely sunrise. Um, and now we're gonna cycle a little, a little bit more along the Caspian Sea, which for cycling is a little bit boring. Um, because you basically just cycle along a main street boulevard. Yeah. We're now in the city of Rasht here. Um, which is the, after Tehran, the second biggest city we came to and yeah, this looks pretty amazing. Um, and there's even some tourists here. So, it was a rather hectic cycle into town. <laughs> proper, proper traffic, but yeah, this is amazing here. Last kilometers along the Caspian Sea here, which has been with us for about two days. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 We're <laughs> back. We're heading back to the mountains today, um, which is also quite nice because the weather down here is it's a bit like Southeast Asia. It's quite humid. It's quite muggy um, due to the high humidity. So we're both happy to climb back into the mountains um, where the air is much, much nicer. Breakfast with coffee flavored alcohol quick here. This is by far the most yummy drink we had so far. Isak is a non-alcoholic malt beverage slash non-alcoholic beer with coffee flavor, which is absolutely amazing. Mm, yummy. And we found some nice cookies as well. I'm um, sitting in front of a mosque here having our second breakfast um, and we're talking to local people as well which is absolutely amazing it's all very relaxed here in Iran absolutely no problem doing this um, people are really open-minded and don't mind us um, looking at mosques and walking around so this is brilliant lovely lovely second breakfast Cookies are great all over the world. Okay. Climbing back up again, um, almost a 200 meters here. Um, this is quite, quite for me, quite European actually. After after all the places I've been to, really nice dense forest with the river um, next to it. And the good news is the humidity we had at the Caspian Sea is gone here. That's the classy way to hide from a thunderstorm. We're eating ashed here, um, right in time. <laughs> Can you see it? <laughs> um, yeah, stopped right in time for the rain to start, so I'm pretty lucky to be inside here. And yeah, we have some ash and some, some bread, so happy. <laughs> So we ordered more food this time. 
Really tasty beans. Um, I'm not sure what it is, but there was the other pot. They're amazing. Sometimes it's good when it's raining. <laughs> So we are at 1,000 meters um, here, um, having a having a chai um, after it rained from Abbas, <laughs> who's over there. Thank you very much. <laughs> Just one of the so many lovely Iranian people who helped us out on the climb here. We don't get any cycling done um, because we're eating and drinking most of the time. So, but that's good as well. Cheers. <laughs> While well, Matthias is waiting, um, this will be our place for tonight. Um, climbed up to 1,200 meters almost, and it's another thunderstorm. Um, and we just got offered this lovely little um, cabin there, so we're gonna stay in there, which is much, much better than camping in this weather. No, no chance. So this is our home for tonight because it is raining outside and we didn't want to camp. Um, but it's lovely and amazing. Look, we've got everything we need. We've got some soft carpets, um, some pillows, um, and then we've got a roof over our head, and that's pretty much all you need when you go cycling. <laughs> to be honest with you, another day in Iran, it's day 9 now, um, we've been stunned by the people today, um, absolutely stunning, um, we, we had people stopping on the street offering us tea and, and, and biscuits and um, nuts and a melon and right now we just had um, some lovely dinner, um, we had lunch down the road um, which was on, on the restaurant's owner as well. Up here we just had some amazing soup and we had a whole family coming in um, chatting with us and, and, and just, just having a jolly good time. Um, and that's pretty much like every day here in Iran. So we were absolutely flabbergasted by the kindness of the people, um, which are just, just it's, it's just really natural. So yeah, we're going to spend the night here um, and hopefully the rains ease tomorrow. Um, we're gonna head up to 2,000 meters again, but yeah for tonight we sold it and we had a cracking day on the bikes That all that matters <laughs> <laughs> So we got some company here for the first <laughs> We got some company here for the first couple of kilometers um, those guys uh, Got a ride up here and they're going gonna go mountain biking here. So um, we've got a uh, Sorry. Uh, what was your name again? Reza Reza. Reza. My uh, name's Reza. Okay. Armin. Armin and Sajjo. Okay. <laughs> we love you, PMC. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, brilliant. Um, so yeah, there's there's mountain biking here in Iran, <laughs> and they had a quick shot on my bike as well, um, and I think they're more happier with their gears. <laughs> so yeah. Of course, we're happy to see you. Here. Yeah, <laughs> and we're gonna ride yeah. together a little bit. It's our first experience yeah. to cycle with you know some European yeah. tourists like you. Yeah. How like like mountain biking in Iran? Uh, it's fantastic. You yeah. Know, Is it? It gives you more energy when you're inside 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 the jungle. I mean, yeah. the nature. You feel receive more energy. You feel refreshed. I mean. Okay. So you're off to um to to cycle to an abandoned village here, yeah. Yeah. Or to oh cool. Are there loads of them around here? Uh, yeah. Okay. There are. A lot of mountains here, and then uh, uh, every time we choose one one place, yeah. and then we arrange our trip with our friends. Then we pack some necessary things, like food, like clothes, like spare things for our bicycle. Yeah. Then we start our journey. We've now left um, the forest and amazing views here um, on the road. Um, we are at 1,700 meters, so we've got about 300 meters to go to the top um, of the pass and hopefully some food. 
Um, but yeah, the cycling here is absolutely stunning, um, pretty amazing. And it was nice to cycle about 1,650 meters in the forest because it was quite cool, um, no direct sun. Um, and we had a massive thunderstorm last night as well. So it's good to get some shelter there. Um, but yeah, today we're gonna climb up to the, to the pass and then go a wee bit down and then we're gonna stay up at one and a half thousand, one thousand three hundred meters um, for pretty much the rest of the journey. So um, those trees we are living behind us are pretty much the well, possibly the last crop of big trees we see for a long, long time. But yeah, the view is absolutely stunning. Amazing! This is one of the most stunning passes I've been on here in Oban and pretty much all over the world. You can't really beat that anymore in terms of scenery. Um, yeah, so glad. I wouldn't want to be out here in the rain we just had, but right now it's absolutely gorgeous here. middle of a flower field here with purple flowers which I don't know um, and poppy seeds poppies poppy seeds poppy seeds poppy seeds poppy seeds it's amazing the color the contrast so nice look at this it's beautiful and all around me like it's a massive big field full of those and as far as you can see there's those wonderful flowers so really good day we don't really get much cycling done today again but those things make up for it big time we're just leaving this amazing valley here with all the purple flowers and the poppy seeds and yeah beautiful it's actually too beautiful because you can't it's kind of a mixture of drinking tea um, and taking pictures and we don't really get any cycling done today but we're close to 2100 and we're not even at the top so um, I guess we're going to be at 2200 again when we reach the pass um, and there's a lot of rain around here but thankfully it's holding off for the moment I hope we're not going to get trenched right at the top but... Woohoo! At the top finally 2370 meters um, and we've climbed for almost 54 kilometers constantly up there um, pretty pretty tough going <laughs> to be honest and the weather wasn't in our favor today as well but yeah so tough and the view from here is absolutely amazing so nice so yeah pretty tough that made it to the top and my guest is going to come soon hopefully as well yep just arrived in Kau Kau here, oh. um, yeah, just doing yeah. the normal selfies yeah, and pictures yeah, and just shit. trying to find a spot to camp, but yeah, it's pretty awesome, um, never had so much attention um, as here, but, um, yeah. Hassan Alman, Hassan Alman, Hassan Alman, he's Germany, he's Germany, he's Germany, 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 Germany. Okay. 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 the turtle from being run over by a car so quite happy about that and now he's off look he's making his way back to where he's supposed to be
we're now on our way to Miani um, to a pretty picturesque landscape here. It's a bit, this looks a bit like a moon landscape, very much like places like New Mexico and beforehand everything looked like the Scottish Highlands. So um, we camped out somewhere nearby here. Um, we're just cycling down the main road here. Um, we had some a lovely offer for, for food tonight, so we stayed with an Iranian family, actually um, a whole family, like um, brothers and sisters. And um, we now get offered to sleep with them at their house because apparently there's wolves here. And they come all the way down to the village and we just figured out that the um, wolves, or well, the, the voices we heard, or the, the noise we heard last night while camping out um, near me and Ian, was probably very probably a pack of wolves so tonight we decided we're going to choose the inside um, other than the outside because um, yeah we we would like to stay in a little bit of safety although the wolves wouldn't do anything really but yeah so we're on our way yeah lovely day again on the bike here in Iran um, pretty easy cycling for us um, but it's Matthias' birthday today so that's that's fine to do that. Yes, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> 